Hello, it's Dr. Sarah Walton, and today we'll be doing a fairy tale soul writing exercise. So you will need your pen, your paper, and somewhere quiet for the next 25 minutes. For those of you who don't know, I developed the soul writing approach 17 year, years ago after I had a brain injury, and I was informed that I may never write fiction again. And what I did was I found a way to write from the intuition and you can do that too. So that's what these exercises are designed to do, to help you to write from your intuition so that your pen flows across the page effortlessly. The book I wrote was Sophia's Tale, a fairy tale for adults. And like all fairy tales, it starts once upon a time. I'm going to read you a very short snippet and then we're going to go into our inner worlds as we usually do. So Sophia is the goddess of wisdom and this is her journey to become wise. Once upon a time, in a land far away, there lived a young princess called Sophia. Sophia meant wisdom in the language of rainbow light. Sophia's soul had been blessed at birth with the seed of wisdom. She was tall, graceful and had the long features and moon white skin of her native land. Schooled in the arts, and when she came of age in sex magic, to prepare her for her future husband. This was a time when teenagers were instructed in the art of love, and sex was considered a sacred act. So that's Sophia's tale, if anyone would like to find it, it's on Amazon. And it's a wonderful experience writing fairy tales, they're not just for children, and they carry with them a lot of wisdom, uh, messages that can talk directly to our conscious mind. And uh, the great psychoanalyst Carl Jung believed that these stories, these archetypal stories, and what I mean by archetype is the characters in the stories in fairy tales and myths as well, tend to represent universal qualities and human qualities. So the mother, for example, the archetype of the mother, you can have the shadow side of the mother, so the evil stepmother or the witchy character in Snow White, which was a, a retelling by Disney um, of Grimm's Snowdrop fairy tale. Um, or for example, the sage. So Sophia in Sophia's tale, the goddess of wisdom, she's a female archetype of the sage, the great wise man or the wise woman. And we will go through our own journey of self-discovery, getting to know ourselves and archetypes can help us to go on that journey. And the characters in fairy tales, the archetypal characters, are characters that we can relate to, children can relate to, we can still relate to them as adults and we can step into the energy of those archetypes those characters. So they're incredibly powerful. So that's enough backstory. If you would like to know a little bit more about fairy tales, I've written a blog on my website, drsarahwalton.com, so you can go and have a look at that if you're interested. But now let's just let all those words drift away like we usually do and connect to the breath. So just getting comfortable in your body those of you who've done it before know that we use the senses, the sensations of the body. That's how we experience our external world. And that's how we're going to experience our internal world. So sight, taste, smell, touch. We can connect with these senses inside in our imaginations too. So now closing your eyes, connecting to the breath. The breath is our method of trans transport and transformation into our inner world. So taking a slow deep breath in and just noticing where does your breath rest today? Is it up high in your chest? And if so, invite it on the next inhalation to move down into your diaphragm and inviting your stomach to expand like a bellows, like a balloon, and then contract 
as you release the breath and taking another deep breath in in your own time and out and now connecting to your heart center in the middle of your chest and imagining on every inhalation that the heart center is glowing white and expanding this beautiful white light in all directions in your body so taking a deep inhalation and then another exhalation letting it go and closing your eyes and bringing your gaze into your inner world just watching as the white light expands in your body and enjoying receiving the breath oxygenating, revitalizing all of the molecules and atoms in your body and all the spaces in between. And now bringing your conscious awareness to the breath. And on the next inhalation, let go of any identities you hold in this life. They're important, you can put them back on at the end. Letting go of mother, let go of brother, sister, friend, accountant, cleaner. Letting go of all of these identities and becoming the breath. Connecting with this white light beautiful white light expanding and we're going to take a journey so imagining now that you are just on the outskirts of a enormous forest a beautiful expansive forest full of enormous pine trees and bamboo and all sorts of tropical and exotic plants and you can hear the sounds of the forest, the birds twittering, you can hear the beautiful sounds of nature alive in this beautiful woodland scene and as you look beneath foliage you can see that there's little creatures moving around rabbits jumping in and out across your path and I invite you now to take off your shoes and socks and you notice that the path beneath your feet is golden and smooth it's a golden pathway which is just for you to take you into the fairy tale forest. So we're staying connected to the breath, keeping all your awareness on the path ahead of you, the golden path through the forest and your breath. Begin to walk barefoot on the path and it's warm. This golden path is warm and smooth and dry and easy to walk on. It's very, very safe. And as you walk into the forest, you are filled with a sense of curiosity and wonder as butterflies of all sorts of colors flit across your vision. You move forward through the path you can see that there's creatures that are following you, little bunnies jumping behind you, little monkeys in the trees chattering and watching you. They're very friendly and they're welcoming you. They're happy that you're here. So you continue to walk through this beautiful forest 
and all of a sudden ahead of you, you can see there's an enormous golden door. It's the height of three human beings, nearly as tall as the trees. And there's lights coming in through the trees, dappling this golden door. This is your door of creativity. It's the door into the magical fairy tale world within you, within your imagination. And only you can enter. And as you approach, you can see that I'm standing next to the door. I'm the gatekeeper, the doorkeeper. And as you approach, I welcome you and I wish you well on your journey. And the door opens and you can see that masses and masses of golden light stream out through the door. Staying connected to the breath. I invite you to walk across the threshold into your door of creativity and through into the magical land of your fertile imagination. And as you walk into the golden light, I'm going to say a few words. I am love. I am safe. I am infinite creativity. I am magic. I am free. And as you find yourself on the other side of the door, you can feel your feet touch the golden path again. It's still here. For things have changed now, so look around. What can you see? What can you hear? You are the interior designer of your fairy tale space. I invite you to put here whatever you wish. Make sure it's safe and make it ever so magical. Are you still in a forest or do you find yourself in a castle, in a palace? What colour are the walls? Are they golden? Or if you're outside and you find yourself on a beach, what colour is the sand? Is it pink? Is it blue? Is it orange? And the sea? And can you smell anything? Can you smell baking bread if you're in a house? And can you taste anything? Pick a leaf off a tree or take a flower and notice perhaps that it's made of chocolate. Anything can happen in fairy tale lands. That's the magic of them. Or maybe the trees are growing money. And the wonderful thing about fairy tale lands is that you can take anything back into the real world. So if you want to pick some money off the trees, take it and put it in your pocket so you can take it back with you. What does that feel like? You can take as much money as you like. You can pick as many chocolate flowers as you like. Imagine your favorite treat. And there it is, hanging from the tree, a succulent mango, or maybe coconut juice is flowing from a fountain nearby. Think of the most magical thing that you can and imagine it here in your fairy tale land. And now I invite you to invite in one of the characters of your fairy tale. What character appears? Invite in a fairy tale character. Is it a rabbit who speaks to you? Or maybe it's a bird that's twittering from one of the trees. Or perhaps it's a dragon and it's breathing fire. But you're still safe and if there's anything you want to change, you can always change it. Just like that. 
to get a good sense of this place that you're in, connecting to your breath, connect to your senses, remembering the colours, planting in your memory what that tasted like, the chocolate flower. Noting to memory your fairy tale character, taking three details about them, something unusual, something about their personality packs, and then another detail of their physicality. Perhaps they're very, very tall, and when they speak, their eyes become fire, or maybe they're incredibly kind. And give them a magical, a special magical power. Can they make themselves invisible? Or maybe they can cast a spell whenever they want because they have a magic wand. Note down to memory all of these details and now reconnecting with the breath. Connecting to the breath again. And we're going to come back on a sound. I'm going to invite you to follow back the sound of the Tibetan bowl. Breathing yourself back into your body now, back into the room, taking a deep, long breath and picking up your pen and noting down your experience in your inner world. What did you see when you arrived through the door? What could you taste? What was your favorite treat? What character entered? Who is your fairy tale character? Was it a dragon? Was it a bird? Was it a human? Was it a princess or a king, perhaps? And what was their magical power? Note all of this down and use your senses. And if you feel to, you can send it to me at sarahsoulwriting at gmail.com. I'm always happy to see what people write. And uh, I have a section on my website where I publish people's stories so occasionally if I have the time I'll edit your story and post it up there and share it with you so you can share it with others so um, please do share with me. Keep writing and if you'd like to join the fairy world, fair, the fairy tale workshop then please do click on the link and uh, I'd love to see you there.